Travis, did you feel there were more than enough opportunity to win this game uh, tonight here? Oh, for sure. Uh, it was a hard-fought hockey game. We uh, threw everything at them in the third period. I think we had 18 shots. Uh, it was a great game. I thought our team played played excellent. Uh, that said, uh, Rochester came back uh, to win after being down 7-1. This team, now that I believe they're both three points behind you, uh, how do you view that, or are you just not even paying attention? No, uh, I mean, you're looking at it at this time of the year, but it doesn't change anything. Um, and we all know you have a patchwork team at the moment. Uh, what can be done? What do you ask of your team here, you know, next few games? I'm going to ask the same thing I've asked the last four games. I thought three of the last four games we've played excellent. We probably, you know, or realistically, probably could have, should have won three of those games or at least come out with four or five five points easily, but uh, no, I like the way our team played. But, but uh, six goals in four games. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. We're getting lots of chances. We're getting lots of shots. You can't just make up goals. Right. you got to, you know, all of a sudden you just don't shoot left-handed instead of right-handed. There's no secret to scoring a goal. It's hard work and uh, going to the net. Uh, you know, we're, we're not just going to add for uh, 30 goal scorers to our lineup. Well, do you, do you feel, though, that, that your team is doing those things, trying to, you know, with the talent level? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've, we had uh, 11 chances in the third period. I think we had 20 for the game, which is quite high for our team against Syracuse. And, uh, you know, it's a fine line between winning and losing. It's a fine line between scoring and not scoring. I thought their goalie played excellent. And uh, you know, I'll take this game every night with our team, and we'll probably win... This tonight, you probably win seven out of ten games. So another side of uh, Gregor Hansen today, uh, a little more um, physical out there. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was physical. I thought the penalty was marginal. Uh, but we talked about our team. Our compete level has to be high in order to beat a team like Syracuse. They're they're a strong team. They work hard. And uh, again, I, I like the way everyone played tonight. The power play goal in the second period kind of take the Wind out of your sails a little bit. Didn't take the wind out of our sails. We had 18 shots in the third period. Uh, Kata starting his, his second consecutive game, I guess. What was the reasoning behind that? Uh, Baki had a little tweak from last week, so decided to give him an extra day off. Uh, any any of the nicked up guys or more than nicked up guys expected back by Frank? Nope. Is, there's a, is there a strategy when you have Four and six, and then I mean, at the end of the weekend, it's you know six and nine. You, strategy kind of when you know, thinking about. I mean, practice time maybe a little bit shorter. We went shorter yesterday. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what we'll do, but it'll be minimal. That's about the only strategy as far as game strategy. There's no changes. Travis, two points is two points, but when you have a hard-fought game like this, you know, an emotional game where you know got a little chippy. I mean. Does that make it any more difficult to, to come up on the short end when you feel like you guys deserve to win? No, it's that time of year. You're expecting to be hard-fought battles. I don't think it was that chippy of a game, to be honest. Uh, there was a couple hits, but you know, when we play Syracuse, they're physical games. I thought uh, every game at this year, this time of year, is going to be physical. It's going to be a, a battle, and no, but I didn't think it was over the line. It doesn't make losing any harder or any easier when you lose. It's it's hard. It's Harder sometimes when you lose playing well. So a different side of you today. Uh, first time I saw you get into a fight. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, there was just a play, uh, kind of a heat of the moment type of thing uh, where uh, I had to stand up for myself. So I'm uh, obviously not happy. I got a penalty on a play, but yeah, it's just how it goes sometimes. What about the what about the call on that? Uh, how'd you feel about the? It was a fiver, right? Yeah, yeah. How did you feel about that call? I didn't like the call. I didn't think uh, my hit was overly violent or anything. I thought uh, I let up on him, and he didn't go in very hard. So uh, I didn't I didn't agree with it, but sometimes it just happens. Um, are you guys, you feel, now they've closed, Syracuse closed the gap to three points. Sir, uh, Rochester came back from five to one to win. They're three points behind. How does that feel for the team? What? How are you guys thinking about it? What's the deal there? Well, I think I believe in our team. I think we got a good squad here, and I think uh, our last three games we've played better than our results have been. So uh, I think if we just keep playing like that, it's gonna, you know, we're gonna get some points eventually. 
I think the, uh, the last two games you've outshot the opposition, 77-37, and lost both games. That's got to be pretty frustrating. It is, yeah, but, but at least we're getting chances, which is always a good thing. you, you got to start worrying when you're not getting any chances. So I think there's a lot of guys in the team that are due, and uh, it's going to show off here in the next few games. Does that build any, any confidence, knowing that you guys are generating the chances to, to feel like, okay, we just need one to go in and they're going to come in in bunches? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, scoring goes in bunches. You know, it's, it's been proven. And uh, if, if you have the chances, you're, you're usually pretty happy about it because it means you're close. And uh, you're, you're definitely worrying if you're not getting any chances. So absolutely. That goal in the second period, obviously, is, is the game winner. I mean, when they score that power play goal, you know, you guys get worried at all? Was it, you know, kind of a take a wind out of your sails? Uh, not really. I thought we kept kept working pretty good, and uh, we we obviously outshot them by uh, I don't know what in the third, but but quite a margin. So I thought we played good after that and responded pretty good. Uh, as I said, we wish, you know we just got to put the puck in the net, and it didn't happen tonight. The frustration level, though, you know, having having a game like that where you guys felt like, especially in the third period, you thought you had the advantage and, and should have been rewarded for it. Uh, does, does that make it any more difficult pill to swallow, you know, not getting the two points at the end of the day? It is tough, absolutely. But, you know, you go through these, uh, these type of periods throughout the season and you just got to battle through it. And as I said, since we played well, it, it's, uh, it's a good feeling. Of course, if we, if we play bad and we, we lost like that, it would, it would be a lot harder to swallow. So uh, we'll just look forward to, uh, to the next game and I think we can beat them. Your first taste of the, the Utica-Syracuse, you know, rivalry, what did you think of it? I think it's a great rivalry. I mean, uh, every game here seems like a rivalry game with the crowd, and also uh, it's definitely a special place to play hockey. And I'm um, enjoying every moment of it. When you got four game or yeah, four games in six days, and I mean by Saturday it's uh, six and nine. You know, from a player's perspective, is that is that tough? Do you change your mindset. You know, when you have a long stretch like this. I don't think so. We prepared well for this, and I think we have four lines that can that can, uh, you know, outscore their opponents. Of course, we haven't done that in the last few games, but uh, I, don't think, uh, I don't think fatigue is a factor, no.